It's me, Dr. Drew, and we're here with Holly, our product developer. You got a toad shirt you love the fit of? You can thank Holly for that. Holly, tell me, what are we doing here today? Thanks, Drew. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple hem. Right on. Hemming is a fantastic way to give new life to items you already have in your closet. Tell me, what do we need to do to get these stitches rolling? So first things first, just gather your supplies. You're going to need a ruler, a couple of straight pins, a seam ripper in case you need to remove any old stitches, a piece of chalk or a pencil to mark your cut line, and a pair of fabric scissors. Also grab an iron, an ironing board, and set up your sewing machine. All right, now that we've got our gear gathered, what's the next steps, Holly? So the next step is just to try on the pants that you want to hem and put them on with a pair of shoes you'll normally wear them with and then you can go ahead and flip your hem up towards the inside. All right. So once you've found a new length that you like, just pop a few pins in at the front, the sides, and the back, and then double check in the mirror that they're even. Groovy. So now that your pants are pinned, you can turn them inside out and get started with the next step. So I'm just gonna measure how much we've turned up. And for Drew's pants, we're turning these up two and a quarter inches. Wow, I am so hyped you're showing me this, Holly, because I was digging through the Toad Archive the other day and I found a few pairs of pants I want to revive, but they're a little long. It's a great technique to have. I love secondhand shopping and being able to do simple hemming um, is just really handy to know how to do. Sure, yeah. And now I'm going to press my new hem in place. So now that your new hemline is pressed, it's time to go around and just mark your trim line. Our new hem height is going to be three quarters of an inch for these pants. And then I'm just going to add a half inch on top of that so that we can turn that back and we'll have a nice clean edge around the inside. So I'm just going to mark these all the way around the bottom, inch and a quarter from the edge. And now that we've marked these all the way around, it's time to trim off the excess length. Cool. So for this step, Drew, why don't you give it a shot? Me? Yeah. Okay. Just follow that line all the way around. Is my line straight? The line looks good. You sure? Once you get close to the edge, you can just rotate the pants. Perfect. Okay. Looking good. Thank you. Huh. I did it. Awesome. What do you think? They look good. Cool. Great job. So now I'm just going to turn back our half inch and press that all the way around the bottom of the pants. So a half inch, is that a pretty standard measurement? You can do a half inch. If you have less to work with, you can also do a quarter inch. Either one will work. Okay. Right yeah. On. And I'm also just double checking with my ruler that my three quarters of an inch hem is consistent all the way around the bottom. And once I press that, I'm just going to pop a pin back in. For this step, we brought in the most important piece, the sewing machine. And I like to start on one of the seam lines, just an eighth of an inch from the edge. Sweet. And now we're coming back around to where we started the stitch line, and I'll just do a quick back stitch. And we're just gonna repeat the same steps on the other side. Ooh -wee. So now you've got both pant legs hemmed. Try them on and see how you like them. Oh man, Holly, these are great. They fit way better now. Thanks. Yeah, sure, no problem, Drew. Well, I hope you learned something. Try these tips at home. Thanks for watching. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Unique New York. The oh. tops, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. Oh. Okay. Ah. Ah. Can you wink? How's I wink can wink, but I feel like it's going to look weird. Uh, I do. Right. <laughs> That's good. That's good enough. <laughs> ah. Good. Good. Let's do it again. All right, cool. Again. All right, deep breaths. All right. Ah. Uh, how now, brown cow?